space tourism. When we first heard of that about a decade and a half ago, I don't know that any of us ever thought we would see it become a reality, but here we are. Blue Origin has its next flight scheduled for Tuesday, March 29th. Yes, tomorrow. We have a Winter Park couple, Mark and Sharon Hagel, who purchased their tickets 15 years ago. Hi, I'm Amy Calandrino and I'm founder and CEO of Beyond Commercial. I'm coming to you with the latest Monday market update. So I'm actually going to over the next five weeks or unless we get breaking news in the meantime, we might break this up, but it's going to be a five part series. Talk about that the Port Canaveral Brevard County area being a Quinta Modal Transportation Center. Yes, Quinta Mobile. You can travel to space. You can travel by sea. You can travel by rail. You can travel by road or travel by regular air all from Brevard County. It has some of the most talented tech workforce anywhere in the world because of those capabilities. And so I thought there was no better topic to start on for the first week than the whole journey to space on Blue Origin. The Space Coast first became the Space Coast back when Kennedy Space Center uh, became a center for you know travel to space and now since then uh space for earth economy has evolved from the original trips to space and so now we are seeing that these telecommunications internet Earth observation, national security are all being part of this space for, for, for Earth economy. And it all started uh, out of Kennedy Space Center, had, you know, started this whole exploration to space in the space for Earth economy. And it's really solidifying itself here at the Space Coast here in Brevard County. So this year, we're going to have Blue Origin uh, launching and Gary Lay, I think that's how you say it, has been with Blue Origin for 18 years and has several patents related to this new Shepard rocket design. He's going to fly along five paying customers, um, including Marty Allen, Jim Kitchen, George Neal, as well as Mark Hagel and Sharon Hagel, who I mentioned before, but they bought their tickets 15 years ago. And so uh, right now, the we're expecting about $366 billion of revenue gained in the space sex sector uh, since 2019. And it's really becoming a huge part of our economy. And again, coming out of Kennedy Space Center. So as this continues, I can't. I can hardly fathom what we're going to see a decade from now or even two decades from now, uh, now that space travel is becoming so much more commercialized. Um, I remember seeing videos back from, you know, the, the 60s, 70s and 80s, and it was just this marvelous thing and everyone had to see these rockets going up into space and now it's oh, another person's going up into space and so uh it's just becoming more of a prevalent accepted thing and much more commercialized and it's right here in the epicenter of florida you know in the next decade or two who knows the outer depths of space could be for anyone to explore but how does that affect us as we continue to have more space travel from here, there are going to be more supporting industries, which is going to thereby impact uh, Central Florida in, in a positive, positive way. We really cemented our status here back uh, in the 60s, and we're here to stay in that, in that industry. After all, it is the Space Coast. Again, uh, subscribe to stay in the loop for this and any other valuable information. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about other aspects of 
the quintimodal transportation system over the next uh, few weeks, uh, only cutting uh, our production in this should some breaking news develop. I'm Amy Calandrino, and thanks for tuning in.